Angular Material provides so many different interesting and very useful components. So let's try to use some of them. Over here we are using this price section. For the price we are using a simple input box. But I want to use a select over here so that user can choose the value from a drop down. Also I want to add few more components. Let's say I want to add one date picker component over here for when the book was published for that. And also I want to add one more toggle button and that will be used as a boolean value like is the book published or not or anything like that so basically my main purpose is to use these angular components and we can search all of them over here inside these components so first we will start with the select over here here it is so if if you will click on your input box then you will get this type of design and to use this we have to first go to the api section and we have to use this mat select module let's copy this line Go back to our application it is already running on this 4200 port and let's go to that material module that is placed inside this shared folder here we are let's just paste it use this mat module this select module over here cool now now just go to this overview section and also you can choose a couple of more design from this example like this if you want to have the multiple select then you can use this approach this is also the disabled one let's say you are having three options and you want to disable one then you can use this approach the code is placed over here this is the code in angular material to create a select field this is similar to what we have done in the form field then we are having this material label and instead of using that input box this time we can use this mat select and if you want to disable something any option then you can use this disable attribute on that particular option okay let's stick to the simple one inside this overview section we are having this simple one that is the basic one and i want to use this one so what we have over here we are having this mat label we are having this select let's copy it and just go back to our application this is the form that we are using and over here in this price section i want to use this one so let's just comment this line now as per this example they are getting data from this ts file in the ts file they have created this one simple array and from this array they are just getting the value so you can also have the similar approach or if you want to write the hard coded value then you can also use that option section so if i go to this example and click on this particular code so here you will see we are having these options you can use this approach as well so if i copy this one we will come to this one later also so let's not use this thing let's remove actually everything from here and let's use these options and remove this disabled or let's just keep it so i want to see the design here you will see in the price we are having this proper design and the second option is disabled this this is because we are using this disable attribute over here if i just remove it then what we'll have we are having this entire data let's use this name placeholder and the ng model and let's just try to test it with this value so here i'm writing let's say 100 here it is 200 and here it is 300 and in the options let's update the similar value let's say here i'm writing dollar 100 update this value 200 300 okay just go back to the browser and let's see what we have so it is visible to us like this because this visibility is coming from this place and the actual value is placed over here so if i just right click on this component and use this inspect here you will see we are having this uh, input box and in this select what we have if i go to the options section here you will see we are having this mat option and the actual value is this 100 so ng reflect value is this 100 so this is something that is visible to us but behind the scene they are using that value option okay let's just remove it or go to the console section like this so i'm using this 100 over here and here let's use something let's say i'm using this dummy 222 author anything number of pages let's say it is 100 and hit the save button okay just to verify the data go to the all books section scroll down to the end and here you will see we are having this entire data so this is how you can use the select component now let's try to use another one so here this time i will be using one slide toggle this one 
so this is a very useful component from the angular material and you can use it for any kind of boolean values to use this one we have to go to the api section and this is the module that we have to import in our application in order to use this one okay so this is the material module let's just paste it the approach is very simple you just have to import the corresponding module and use it in your application and then you can get the code from angular material website and you can work on that particular component here we are if i go to this example section you will see there are so many examples over here you can also provide any kind of colors to this one disable enable so many things are there okay let's use this basic one so over here this is the code only one line code and in the ts file we do not have anything cool so let's just copy this code and go back to our application and over here if i go to this add book form and at the end after this particular form field let's remove this one actually we don't need them save it what do we have on the browser go to this add new book form so here you will see we are having this slide me you can also add some css to this component to get a proper space and we can do that easily let's do that so here i'm using that class class name is toggle or give any meaningful name based on your need go to the css file over here let's use here i'm writing margin bottom let's say it is 10 pixel see we are having the proper space this time if you want to append it then you can use the 20. now it is looking very good now let's try to add the ng model to this particular toggle also and for that i can write the ng model over here and if i will use it like this then i will get an error here on the console because i'm not using the name attribute so in the name here i'm writing is published is the book published or not and to handle this particular property i have to update my model so in this add book we are using this model book model and here let's just use it so public is published here i'm writing boolean on this old book section we are using this particular card that is app this one to display the value of that new field we need to add one more tag over here so let's use one p tag and here i'm writing is book published like this and here i'm using this book dot is published see okay let's go back to the browser and first let's go to the old books and because we have not added the corresponding data for the existing books that is why we are not getting this value over here but if i will try to add new book from my form here let's say i'm writing dummy again this is the author dummy dummy price let's choose 200 and let's click on this one slide me save go to the old books okay so we have missed the mapping over here in this add book here we have to add the mapping also so book dot is published is equals to value dot is published this one was missing 